Before we even talk about specs, benchmarks, or prices, you need to understand this. Something very big is happening inside Apple, and most people are completely missing it. While social media is busy arguing about tiny upgrades and yearly refresh cycles, Apple is quietly setting up a shift that could completely change desktop computing as we know it. Not next month, not next year, but very soon. And when this shift becomes obvious, a lot of people are going to look back and realize they should have paid attention earlier. Because this is not just about a new Mac Mini. This is not just about the M5 chip. This is about Apple slowly ending an entire era of computing and replacing it with something smaller, cheaper, quieter, and far more powerful than anyone expected. And at the center of this change is a machine that most people still think of as a basic computer, the Mac Mini. For years, the Mac Mini was seen as the entry point into the Mac world. Small box, decent performance, good for students, casual users, or as a home server. But that perception is about to be completely destroyed. Based on leaks, internal code references, analyst reports, and Apple's own long-term strategy, the Mac Mini coming in 2026 with the M5 chip is not just an upgrade. It is a statement, and that statement is very clear. Big desktop towers are no longer the future. When you zoom out and look at everything Apple has done since moving to Apple Silicon, the pattern becomes obvious. Apple does not care about traditional desktop form factors anymore. They care about performance per watt. They care about efficiency. They care about quiet machines that deliver serious power without massive cooling systems or huge power supplies. And the M5 generation is where that philosophy fully takes over. The current Mac Mini with the M4 chip is already considered one of the best value computers Apple has ever made. It is small. It is silent. It barely uses power. And yet it can easily handle video editing, coding, music production, and even some gaming. For the price, nothing in the Windows world really competes with it unless you start making compromises. But the M5 Mac Mini is about to push this idea much further. According to multiple trusted sources, including supply chain leaks and firmware discoveries, Apple is planning to release the 2026 Mac Mini with both M5 and M5 Pro options. This alone is a big deal because it tells us Apple no longer sees the Mac Mini as just a basic machine. It is becoming the foundation of the entire desktop lineup. And then there is the detail that shocked a lot of people in the industry. The base model Mac Mini is rumored to finally start with 512 gigabytes of storage instead of the painfully outdated 256 gigabytes. This may not sound dramatic, but it matters more than most people realize. For years, Apple's base storage has been a major complaint. It filled up too fast. It forced upgrades. It made an otherwise great machine feel limited. Moving to 512 gigabytes as standard instantly makes the Mac Mini more usable for real work. Video files, game installs, development tools, creative projects, all of the benefits. But storage is just the beginning. The real shock comes from performance. Leaks suggest that the M5 chip is not just focused on productivity and efficiency. It's shaping up to be a serious graphics performer. Early reports point to up to a 30% or more increase in gaming performance compared to the previous generation. In some demanding titles, the gains are even higher. And this is happening inside a tiny aluminum box that barely gets warm. Think about that for a moment. A computer the size of a paperback book running modern games smoothly without loud fans, without a massive GPU, and without pulling hundreds of watts from the wall. This completely breaks the traditional idea of what gaming hardware looks like. No giant tower. No RGB lights. No constant noise. Just a quiet box doing its job. And gaming is only one part of the story. Creative workloads are where the M5 Mac Mini starts to feel almost unfair. Early benchmark leaks point to noticeable gains in 3D rendering, video encoding, and AI-related tasks. Blender performance is expected to improve by around 15 to 20 percent. Neural engine performance is reportedly getting a major boost. That means faster upscaling, faster effects, faster machine learning tasks, and better real-time processing. 
Apple is essentially turning what used to be an entry-level desktop into a compact workstation, a machine that can sit on any desk, consume very little power, and still compete with systems that cost two or three times more. And they're doing it while keeping the starting price around $599. That is not an accident. That is strategy. Apple wants the Mac Mini to be the default desktop choice, not just for Mac users, but for anyone who wants performance without complexity. No building, no tweaking, no driver issues. Just plug it in and work. This is Apple saying very clearly that the future of desktop computing does not need to be big or expensive. Internally, the new Mac Mini models are already deep into testing. Firmware leaks have revealed internal code names that confirm the hardware is real and actively being developed. The standard M5 Mac Mini is reportedly labeled J873G, while the M5 Pro version carries the code name J873S. These details matter because they show that Apple is not experimenting anymore. These machines are coming. In terms of physical design, do not expect anything dramatic. Apple rarely changes the Mac Mini enclosure. The familiar aluminum square is almost certainly staying. The port layout is expected to remain similar as well, with USB-C ports on the front and Thunderbolt ports on the back. The Pro version may finally adopt Thunderbolt 5, which would open the door for faster external storage, better displays, and higher bandwidth accessories. But again, the design is not the story. The price is Apple keeping a $599 starting point for a machine this powerful is aggressive. It undercuts a huge part of the Windows desktop market. It makes buying a bulky pre-built PC feel unnecessary for most people. Now, some of you might be thinking this all sounds great, but what about professionals? What about people who need serious power? That is where the Mac Studio comes in. And this is where Apple's strategy becomes crystal clear. The Mac Studio is skipping the M4 generation entirely. There will be no M4 Ultra. Apple is jumping straight to the M5 Max and M5 Ultra. That alone tells us something major is changing under the hood. Apple does not skip generations unless there is a good reason. And in this case, the reason appears to be architecture. One of the biggest criticisms of Apple Silicon Max so far has been the lack of flexibility. CPU, GPU, and memory have all been tightly integrated. If you wanted better graphics, you were forced to buy more CPU cores than you actually needed. That may finally be changing with the M5 architecture. Leaks suggest Apple is redesigning how CPU and GPU blocks are arranged. This could allow for more flexible configurations. For the first time since the Intel era, professionals might be able to prioritize GPU power without overpaying for unnecessary CPU performance. That is huge for video editors, 3D artists, game developers, and anyone working in real-time graphics. Performance rumors around the M5 Max GPU are almost hard to believe. Some reports suggest it could rival desktop-class GPUs like NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 5080. If even part of that is true, it means Apple is delivering workstation-level graphics performance in a small, quiet box that uses a fraction of the power of traditional systems. Pricing for the Mac Studio is expected to remain similar to the current lineup. Around $1,999 for the M5 Max and around $3,999 for the M5 Ultra. When you consider the performance, efficiency, and size, that value proposition becomes very hard to ignore. But every big shift creates a victim. And in this case, the biggest victim is the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro, once the crown jewel of Apple's desktop lineup, is quietly fading away. The current model is expensive, outdated, and confusing. It uses an aging chip. It offers PCIe slots that most users never use. And it cannot even support third-party GPUs in a meaningful way. Leaks have confirmed that Apple has completely canceled development of an M4 Ultra chip for the Mac Pro. Not delayed. Canceled. That tells us everything we need to know. Apple has realized that the idea of a massive, expandable tower no longer fits their vision of computing. For more than two decades, the Mac Pro represented ultimate power. It was the machine you bought when money was no object. But that world is gone. In 2026, 
Power is about efficiency. It is about density. It is about performance per watt. And in that world, the Mac Studio and Mac Mini make more sense than a giant aluminum tower. Ever could. It is sad for longtime Mac fans. There is nostalgia attached to the Mac Pro. But nostalgia does not make sense as a business strategy. Apple is moving forward, not backward. When you step back and look at the full picture, the message is very clear. If you're a casual user, a student, or even a gamer who wants strong performance without noise or complexity, the M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be one of the best computers ever made for the price. If you're a professional who needs serious power, the Mac Studio finally offers the flexibility and performance balance people have been asking for since Apple Silicon began. And if you're still thinking about buying a Mac Pro, the honest advice is simple. Do not. The future is not there anymore. The desktop landscape is about to change in a big way around mid-2026, likely around WWDC. The smartest move right now is to wait, save your money, and avoid buying hardware that will feel outdated the moment the M5 generation arrives. My personal opinion is this. Apple is not just upgrading computers. They are redefining what a desktop should be. Smaller, quieter, more efficient, more powerful. And if these leaks turn out to be accurate, the Mac Mini M5 might go down as one of the most disruptive computers Apple has ever released. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future leaks and updates.